hey guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video we'll be talking about a vs code extension which i came across known as thunder client for vs code and uh, this is the official website of this extension there is not much uh, over here but if you navigate to this uh, medium post you can definitely find more on this uh, extension and this is the creator of this extension i'll uh, put the this link in the description for this uh, website and uh, basically if you are familiar with the tool known as postman for testing out rest apis and uh, getting to know about the responses of get post and the things we do with rest apis right so similarly for uh, vs code we have this extension so this is basically to avoid um, if you don't want to uh, install uh, postman just for testing out rest apis and the responses you can directly install this extension and use it. the interface is pretty similar to uh, postman so it can be quite familiar so this is the, this is the website and um, in this video, I'll uh, walk you through the entire process from installation to how it works within VS Code. So let's uh, get right into it. So first of all, you just need to open, you just need to have VS Code as an, as an IDE. So make sure you have one and open a new empty window, which I already have. So this is the VS Code interface. Let me just uh, zoom in a bit so currently we have nothing opened over here but the first step you need to perform in this is to install the extension so navigate to the marketplace or the extensions logo over here and uh, type in thunder client uh, if you can see this one thunder client and click over here and just install it right so I've already done that. So skipping that part for you guys, you need to install it. And once it is installed, you will get an interface, something like this. Now canceling this out and reloading the VS code. So it is a, it is not mandatory to reload or reopen the VS code, but you'll after installation, you will get a symbol such as this. So this is a symbol of Thunder client extension uh we'll get it over here so let's open this and this is the simplest interface right now we have we don't have anything so uh, now the second step is to check how the extension works in order to perform the rest api operations such as uh, get post delete and patch or put so we'll be walking through each and every a request one by one so for that we'll be using uh, this we'll be using uh, one of the website which fakes rest apis which is this one so let me just take this over here so yeah so this is the website or the tool which we are going to use to um, mimic rest apis so over here we have a bunch of operations uh, like get post put delete and etc even based on queries so i'll just put the link for this in the description box below so do check it out and uh, you can also use a json placeholder but i prefer this and uh, let's get started so the first operation which we are going to perform is get uh, a list of users so if you click over here get and uh, let's click on this request so you will get a api with the json uh, data over here sorry uh, you will get a link with json data so just copy this and what you need to do is the first step you need to perform a request within the extension is to create a new request so on the left hand side on the right hand side sorry you will get an interface somewhat like this where you are going to uh, 
provide the request URLs, headers, and etc. And over here, you will get the response. So let's paste the URL. And this is the query parameter. We'll just change it to one for now. And uh, we have no headers in here. So these are the default headers which you need to use as a default option. So don't just uncheck this. You just need to uh, keep as it is. And this is the query params. So uh, this is a get request. These are the options which you get over here. And let's uh, hit on send. So we have a status OK. And this is the response, station response we got for page one. And we have a data array. And within that, we have uh, objects, multiple objects within that array. And uh, yeah, this is a basic uh, get request for page one. And now let's change this to page two. So params have a pages qu uh, query uh, value. And within that, you can change the numbers. Now let's check for the page two send. So we have another response for page two and the data is different. So yeah, so this is the basic uh, get uh, request. So let's try something different now. Let's navigate to some other. Uh, let's uh, check this as for single user. So you can just copy this URL and uh, navigate to this. And you can either uh, perform within this itself or you can create a new request which will give you an empty uh, interface. So just paste this and uh, send. So ID2 and based on that you have a user. So the first name is Janet and the last name is Weaver. So with no query parameters we have this. Now let's uh, remove this and um, check for six if we have that so yes we have a user with six id so this is basically uh, fetching a specific user based on the id of this so yeah um, this is how it works the get request now we can remove this and uh, all the operations which we have performed previously will be in the activity tab. So you can uh, directly navigate to it and you can check what all responses you have or performed previously. So it's a good interface and quite similar to Postman. So yeah, it will be quite familiar when you are working with this. Now let's move on to post request. So generally with post request, we have a body JSON body. So over here we have a create user i think so let's click on this yeah so this is a user's request so we are creating a user so just navigate to this url and click on this so this is a json body you just copy this url and either you can create your new request or you can just edit the existing one so over here we'll just uh, paste the url and for this, uh, it is a post request to so change this. The second step you need to perform over here is that will be requiring a body. So if you navigate to this, uh, sorry, uh, the post. So we have a body over here. So just copy this body. This is a JSON body and let's put it within the body tab and json section and just copy this sorry paste this and uh, i think this should be good so we have a body within json tab and this is a url so let's send this okay we have a successful status 201 created created at this and uh, leader is this and this is so this is the user which we got so generally we have created this the user so let's create another ok text and I think this is good let's send it and yeah we have a user created with uh, this name and job so 
I think this uh, pretty much simplifies the post request. Now let's edit an existing uh, user. So for that we need to perform a put request. For that you just need to change the request to put and uh, make sure you have. So let's navigate to this and see what we have for put request. So let's navigate to this update and over here we have the same. So yeah, based on the ID, so we can update the user. So over here, if you see, we have ID of 407, right? So let's edit the URL to slash 40, sorry, 470. And uh, let's change this to Dexter and uh, you, you is fine so let's change it make sure you change the request method okay so we have the name and job updated so this is the response so I think it works the user has been updated successfully using a put request so yeah this is the put or patch request similarly now let's navigate to the delete method so we have covered get post put and now it's time for delete so let's uh, delete a user i think yeah or uh, we can just uh, edit the user or we can just edit the request over here to delete let's remove this body that should be fine you don't need to do that but uh, just to make sure send and uh, no content so i think this is a uh, a good response as we know 40204 the request for was proper for 204 was the response so the user 2 as we have already done is uh, has been deleted so we have the correct response cool so we are good uh, with this so make sure you check uh, the response and request object while performing any kind of uh, API request through uh, through this because I was like uh, stumbled and uh, I was like what was the response so yeah this is the response uh, delete and uh, this is proper right so for this user we have responses and exactly what we have in here right so yeah now uh, we have covered a get a post put and uh, delete request so these are the basic operations of uh, this extension which you are familiar with if you are using postman uh, frequently and uh, you also know how to add query parameters which we did previously for get method to like get a specific object from an array of data or whatever so the other features of this is that you can also create collections so if you are familiar with the uh, postman you can create a collection of a uh, uh, request and you can uh, use environment variables within that to simultaneously make a request uh, within that collection so you can use env you can do that collection as well and this is the activity tab and uh, yeah i think this is pretty in handy so i guess this is a uh, pretty good uh, extension sorry uh, it is pretty good extension if you want to uh, be within vs code while you are developing as well as testing the rest apis or whatever so this is quite handy and uh, yeah i think uh, this uh, that uh, that's it for this video guys if you have any questions queries or concerns regarding this extension please uh, feel free to comment down below and i'll link all the um, important links to this uh, extension in the description so do uh, do uh, check this out and um, uh, yeah thanks for watching